Hello and welcome to Kids Alive Church. So good to have you with us once again. This is Buddy the Zebra and today we're starting a new series. Can you believe it's October? Woohoo! My favorite, one of my favorite months. Well, today's, um, today we're starting on a new series. So today's series, we will start on Children of the Bible. Children of the Bible, you can make a difference. Wow! Children of the Bible. Do you know a lot of children in the Bible? There are plenty of kids, right? Well, today we will start with Miriam. Miriam, do you know who that is? Yeah? Well, Miriam, the topic now is caring and loving one another. Caring and loving one another. Now, Miriam's life was very, very interesting. And I think she plays a very important part in our lives right now also because Miriam was a very young girl and her brother was Moses. We all know Moses, right? So Moses was sent to, to be put in a basket when he was a little baby. His mommy put him in a little basket and he was sent through the river because the bad guys, the soldiers, were coming to kill all the babies at that time, all the male babies. So Moses was put in a basket and he was sent down the river by his mom. Miriam stood there and she watched. Now imagine yourself, if your brother was put in a dangerous situation, what would you do if your little baby brother was put in a situation like that, what would you do? It was a tough decision for Miriam, but she loved her brother so much, so she followed the basket. Yes, what a brave girl, right? So what she did was she followed the little basket down the river banks. And I'm not talking about an easy pathway that is pebble stones and all that. I'm talking about a rough path that she went through to watch and make sure her baby brother was okay. How interesting is that? She cared so much for her little baby brother. I want us to learn something from Miriam today, that we are to care for people around us just like she did. She went out of her way. She could have said, oh, he's just a baby, I don't care, and went on her way, right? But she chose to care for that little baby brother. And because she cared for him, she watched where he went and she followed the, ba the little basket to the footsteps of the place where Pharaoh's daughter was having a bath. And she went, she ran up to Pharaoh's daughter and she said, Ma'am, ma'am, princess, I am a little girl and, but I have a woman at home that can help you take care of this baby. Do you need help? She went out of her way and she did something out of the ordinary. A normal girl wouldn't have done that. A normal person, you and I, would not have the bravery to do that. But I want to encourage you today, children. Step out of our comfort zone. Care for those around us. When you see someone struggling in their school, when you see someone sad, getting bullied, being, um, getting getting bad results or having people speak to them in a bad way. What can we do as Christians? What can we do as children of God to show that you care and you love those around you? What can you do? You can walk up to them. You can say, hey, do you need a friend? Hey, do you need to talk? Hey, do you need some pocket money? Do you need some food? I am here to help you and help because when you act out small little acts, God will bless that little act and you can make a difference wherever you are. That's why the topic of this whole month is you can make a difference. Amen? The memory verse for today is this. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Philippians 2 verse 3 to 4. Again, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. 
not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Amen. Philippians 2 verse 3. So I pray that this message will speak to you that we will all be little Miriams. We want to care and we want to share with those around us. Amen. Be blessed you guys. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.